एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन मैक्स रिपिटेशन ऑफ पेंडर राउंड टू बाय कॉट फोर्सेस सो द क्वेश्चन स्टेट्स दैट वी आर गिवन एन एरे ए वन टू ए एन ऑफ पेयर वाइज डिस्टिंग इंटीजर्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू एन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग ऑपरेशन कॉन्जिक्यूटिवली फॉर ईच आई फ्रॉम वन टू एन इन दिस ऑर्डर वी नीड टू रिप्लेस ए आई विद मैक्स ऑफ ए वन टू ए एन so max means the smallest non negative integer x which does not occur in the collection c so for example we have this collection as 00214 so 02214 then the smallest integer which is not occurring in this is 3 and smallest integer which does not occur in 1 comma 2 is 0 so like this we need to calculate the max of the elements and we need to print the array after applying k such operations so the input here is the pair by distinct integers a1 to an and we also have n and k n is the number of elements and k is the number of operations we need to do so suppose we have so we have here element as only one and our k is 2 so as k is 2 we need to perform two operation so first we apply max on one so it will be 0 and when we apply again then it will be 1 because the smallest integer that does not occur in this array is So it is converted to one, and hence we output one in this case. Now in the second case we have three elements. K is one, and we have zero, one, three. So for zero, we take max of zero one three. Max of zero one three is two. Max of one. So now the array is two one three. So here max of one will become zero. So now the array becomes two zero three, and then we take max of three. So it will be one because one does not occur. So we have two zero one. So whatever is the length of the array, till then we need to calculate the max of whole array. It does not depend on what is the index here. it depends on how many integers are there so suppose i have this zero one three is taken so we will take this one which is one two three four five so if we take one two three four five then we have one as Zero, two as two as one, then three as two. We have zero, one, two, three, and four. And after doing this again, here we have five. Here zero, one, two, three, and then again we have here. Ah, uh, we can have four, then five, zero, one, two. Like this, if you keep doing till the fifth one, you will get two, three, four, five, zero. So this will be our final output. Now, how to do all these things? First, what we need to do is we need to search which element is not present 
from 0 to n in this list so when we start iterating we we will start from 0 so that we will get the minimum element which is not present so when we start from 0 uh, suppose we take k equal to 1 case here so let's take this one 0 1 3 so now i have 0 1 3 i am iterating 0 is present in the list yes it is 1 is present in the list yes it is 2 is present in the list no it's not so what we will do i will replace array i th element with this max value and for this it will be a of 0 which will be assigned to 2 now as a of 0 is assigned to 2 the array is also updated to 2 1 3 now we go to the next element take the max value for it and we see that a of 1 will come out to be 0 similarly a of 2 will come out to be 1 and so on hence you can get the values as this just you need to iterate from 0 to n for every k operation and find the max value like this and then after finding the max value you can update the max value in the array and then again calculate the max value for the next element so hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching